Hey guys, it's John from Physical Living and in this video I'm going to give you a quick review of the competition kettlebells from performbetter.com. So I've got a couple of them here for you to look at today. On the right, this yellow one is a 16 kilogram model, um, which is about 35 pounds and some of you guys knew that already because it's yellow and competition kettlebells are color coded. But I bought this thing six or seven years ago, I don't remember exactly when, and have used it extensively. I can't tell you how many thousands of repetitions of swings and snatches and you name it that I've put it through. Um, but I've been very pleased with it. As you can see, there's a little bit of wear and tear. There's some surface rust on the handle and some uh, scratches and paint chips um, all over. Um, I consider it all normal wear and tear. I, don't, I haven't had any issues um, with it. I do not baby my training tools, but I also don't abuse them because I want them to last as long as possible. Um, and I, I think it's held up very well, if you ask me. Um, so here on the left um, is a 24 kilogram model. You can tell the design is a little bit different um, from the one on the right, and it's just because this one's a little bit newer. And so they've changed something. They Maybe they have a new manufacturer, or uh, they're just doing it a little bit differently. Um, but I noticed right out of the box that this one's a little bit higher quality um, than the yellow one was when I first got it. And so they're doing something right. This one was actually sent to me for free by the good folks at Perform Better um, for this review. Um, so thank you guys very much for sending it out to me. I really appreciate that. Um, so, I mean, basic impressions. I just want to keep this a really quick review. Um, my basic impressions of these is that um, these are good quality kettlebells, not necessarily premium level kettlebells. Um, there are companies out there that make higher quality kettlebells with better features and uh, better tighter tolerances and etc. Um, and these just aren't up there with the best of them, but they're still good quality kettlebells. Um, if I had to assign a rating, um, I'd probably give the green one four out of five stars and the yellow one three out of five stars, and I hate assigning ratings like that because they're so vague. Um, why this one's a little bit lower in rating um, is because after about two and a half or three years of using it, some of the filler material on the inside, in the core, um, became loose, and so when I swing it, uh, it sounds and it feels like there's some sand uh, shifting around in there. And it hasn't been enough to affect my performance, like it's just a little bit of material in there. Um, it's more of a distraction than anything else. Um, but some people in the kettlebell community would say that's a major red flag and just a sign of uh, poor quality. And so I wanted you to be aware of that. Um, hasn't affected my performance at all, like it hasn't been an issue for me. Uh, but it is a little distracting. Um, and haven't had that issue with the green one because I haven't had it, you know, nearly as long as this one. Um, so maybe if it does happen, I'll update this review. Um, but all in all, I consider these kettlebells to be really good um, low budget options because they're good quality um, and they're, they, they're offered at great prices. So Perform Better already has good prices, but um, if you can catch these things on sale and Perform Better has sales often, it seems like they're always having sales, um, you'll get some good kettlebells for some of the best prices I've ever seen. Um, and so if you're shopping around and trying to save as much money as possible, then this is definitely one of the, maybe one of three or four companies that I um, recommend that you look at first. Um, I do have a much more um, exhaustive product review, which these appear in, um, that uh, I did for, I think it was 14 different kettlebells from nine different companies where I cover my top picks, which ones I think are the highest quality, the highest value, the best bang for your buck, the most budget friendly options. Um, and so if you're interested in that, I'll provide a link below this video and make it really easy for you to find that, that information. Um, but all in all, these are they're good kettlebells. I don't have any real complaints. I've been very happy with both of them. And I can see, if you take care of them, I can see these lasting a very long time. Um, and so uh, I think I'll leave it at that. So thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about these or want any help uh, picking out a kettlebell or just want to know more about kettlebell training, I'd love to hear from you. Um, please get in touch with me and I'd be happy to help. So thanks again and I will see you in the next video.